Ah, hello and welcome back to Soul House Yoga Retreat YouTube channel. We are in the backyard of Soul House with my cat wandering around. My dog may come in a moment too. We'll see. Anyway, we're going to talk about the navel chakra today and do a short kriya, the nabi kriya, which you can spend a lot more time on than we're going to. We're going to do a shortened version because I think that's what works best online. However, if you're really committed to working on your navel and making it stronger, it's a great idea. Then you can extend the times, which I'll give you as we go along. The color for the third chakra is orange. And the only thing I have on today that is orange is my Halloween socks with the orange heart. Actually, in Kundalini Yoga, we suggest that you don't wear socks so that your nerve endings can breathe in the bottoms of your feet. So you might not want to be wearing your socks right now. Anyway, we're going to get started. And this is a Kriya that is mentioned in the chakra booklet that I have written. And... I'm showing the things that are in that booklet here on YouTube. So we're going to start out by tuning in as we do with Kundalini Yoga. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Our eyes are going to be closed to the third eye right between your eyebrows. We're going to be calling upon the teacher within to help us do our best. So bring your palms together. You can do this Adi Mantra on one breath or you can inhale through the nose and chant Om Namo and then sip in through the mouth to get a little more breath and chant Guru Dev Namo. On the R sounds, we let the tip of the tongue touch the roof of the mouth. And let's go ahead and start by doing that three times. Inhale. And again, inhale nose. And final time, inhale nose. Inhale and exhale. I just realized that orange is actually the color of the second chakra. Yellow is the color of the third chakra. So I'm still wearing my orange socks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Oftentimes in Kundalini, you could start with a rotation from the waist, doing a little spine flex. We're going to go right into this navel work, which is pretty okay without warm ups to actually. We're going to start out on our back. And I'm reading the instructions because I don't have this memorized. And this one, if you wanted to go the full length of time, which we will not, you'll be doing for 10 minutes. I have done this Kriya for the full length of time. But boy, it really works. The abdominals and also these muscles in the groin that help lift those legs up. But anyway, let's come onto our back and you can have your hands underneath your buttocks if you like or by your side. And underneath your buttocks just protects the lower back a little bit. Your eyes are closed to the third eye. Your inhale, you'll be thinking the sound sat. Exhale, nam. So keep your legs as straight as you can as you lift one at a time, alternating leg, leg lifts. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, sat, exhale, nam. Inhale, sat, exhale, nam. Keep the leg as straight as you can. You can also change the foot if you like. What I mean is you could flex up, point down. That just stretches a different part of the leg, right? So keep going. Inhale, flex. So point if you want to do it that way, or just keep them straight either way. Now the sun is shining brightly on my face, and that is the third chakra, that yellow sun that's up in the sky, represents fire element, our willpower, our self-esteem, our inner fire to complete things. So we're going to complete this right now. Inhale one leg up, exhale down. Good. Stay on your back for the next one. You're going to bring your hands and clasp your fingers together. And the arms are going to be straight up in the air. The idea with the arms is that gives you a little something to help give you a, a balance point. If this is too much for your lower back, then until you're able to do this with both legs, do one leg at a time. You never want to hurt yourself in yoga. And leg lifts, sometimes you feel it in your lower back. So be mindful of that. Lifting those arms up straight from the shoulders, fingers clasped. Inhale the legs straight up again, 90 degrees, legs straight. Exhale down. Inhale, set. Exhale now. Inhale, set. Exhale now. 
Inhale, sat, exhale. Breathe through your nose, yogi breathing, cleansing, purifying. This one we would do for five minutes. Again, you can time this on your own. Don't go longer than the times, but if you want to build the times up, you can. We're going to finish up now. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, lower down. So your navel is your control center. If you can lower your legs very slowly on the exhale, this means that you have very good strength and control from your power center, which is your navel. Manapur chakra, the great jewel of the body. Good. Release your arms down. Let your legs relax for a moment. Bring the knees into the chest. Mm. And just hold that for a few moments. Hugging the knees in. This is a very healing position you can do on its own. Has many health benefits. Very good for digestion and elimination. And from here, we're going to go into this uh, next thing. This one, it says it charges your energy field, your magnetic field, and it opens the navel energy. When that energy is open and strong, we complete projects in our life. It starts with envisioning them. This is the vision. At the third chakra is vision. So we envision and then we carry them out. So let's go ahead and look at this next one. You're going to inhale, hug your knees in, exhale, legs at 60 degrees, arms out to the side. 60 degrees is challenging. You want to feel some contraction and strengthening going on in that belly. And then exhale, inhale, reach the legs out, the arms out, exhale. Now this one you would do for 15 minutes. In the beginning, it's pretty simple, though that angle is a little challenging. Inhale, sat. Exhale, nam. Focus third eye. Hmm, this is great. Inhale. Feel your strength, your ability to carry through. As we say in Kundalini, your ability to keep, keep up, be resilient and strong. This strengthens the nerves a lot. The nerves emanate from our belly. 72,000 nerves, lots of energy. It's our electrical highway. So we'll just do a couple more of these. Inhale, sat. Exhale, nam. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring in. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, hug the knees in. Release your legs out for a moment. And again, just, just rest for a brief moment. I'm actually going to take my socks off because we're going to come standing and I want to feel grounded. It's really nice to be on the earth. It's really nice to do yoga out in nature. This set, you don't really even really need a uh, yoga mat. You don't really even need that. You can just be in contact with the earth if you like. And so all we're going to do now is you're going to, you're on your back still. You're going to find a way up. So you're going to hug your knees in, bring yourself up, come standing. And this is simply, let me show you my hands because you're probably going to come off camera. Maybe I'll walk back so you can see. But you want to have your hands like this when you come up to get a stretch in your wrists. Um, so I'm going to do it up here. Yep, you can't see it, so I'll come back here. I'm going to inhale up, just straight up and stretch up. And my palms are going to face the sky. Heavens, that's my inhale. I'm going to exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring it up straight up. Just a beautiful stretch stretching the navel a bit and many more things. And then exhale, coming down, contracting the navel. Inhale, sat, feel the earth under your feet. Exhale, nam, feel the strength of your legs. Inhale, sat, exhale, nam. Inhale, sat, exhale, nam. Do that a few more times. Hmm to see if they have the time for this one that one's just two minutes you can speed it up a little bit for the last few times if it works in your body inhale exhale inhale exhale stable legs inhale exhale sat nom sat nom inhale reach up eyes closed to the third eye exhale bring your arms down ha ah, good And then you're going to just come sitting for a moment and feel like you're relaxing as you sit. Now, for some of us, sitting is not so relaxing. 
but just sit here for a moment and sense yourself, sense your navel. The navel is our power center, as I mentioned. We're gonna add one more. Honestly, I left it out, but it's okay because these are all just navel kriyas. And some of the stuff with Kundalini really works progressively energetically. This is not a set like that. It like might work from the lower chakras up, but this one's all focused on the navel. So let's do this last one. Come onto your back and hug your right knee in. And again, have your left leg as straight as you can. And inhale up again, can be point or flex or point and flex or whatever you want to do. So here's a point and then a flex, good. Inhale up could be a flex and a point, or you could keep either one. The main deal is to keep your leg straight if you can. Inhale, set, exhale, nom. Feel that strengthening the lower abdominals. Let's see how long that one is. Excuse me for a moment as I look. Oh, that's short. <laughs> Just a minute on each side. So let's switch legs. Whichever one you are on, that inhale up, exhale down, finish it. Or not whichever one, but where you are. And then take your left knee in, extend your right leg out. Hmm, that already feels good. <laughs> and then leg straight, inhale, sat, exhale, nom. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, sat, exhale, nom, inhale, sat. Again, we're only doing this one. If you're going for the full length of time, this would be your, certainly your shortest one because it's only one minute on each side. And so finish your leg on this side, inhale up, exhale down. Now our final rest. Take a moment, lay on your back. Now we have the opportunity to feel the energy in our belly and to breathe into the belly. Years ago, one of my students was like, well, you don't really breathe into your belly. And she was very, very bright, very intelligent. And truly that's correct. When we breathe deeply, it's not exactly like you're breathing into the belly. You're breathing deeply into your lungs, which causes the diaphragm muscle to push down. And because that muscle is pushed down, the belly rises. So really what you're doing, however you want to think of it, is a proper breath, is a healing breath, is a belly or baby breath, the way babies breathe. And what that does is it gets us into this solar plexus region, which is what we're working on in this set. Some people make the navel and the solar plexus at the base of your ribs, two separate chakras, but the whole area is about the sun and about energy and vitality and health and nature. In nature, we take in things like our breath and we give them back. We take in food and it goes out. We take in liquids and it goes out. So this is a big processing center, sometimes called the second brain. I say that in my flexibility in the spine set, which is also here on YouTube, but it's true. We get that gut feeling in there. Very important part of the body. Now we're just gonna finish up. So draw your knees into the chest. We activated those nerves from the navel. So let's rub those nerve endings at the soles of the feet and the palms a little bit all that good energy that we're circulating inside ourselves so we feel more alive today. And then rotate your wrists and ankles. Go the other way. If you are comfortable doing this and the surface you're on is comfortable to do this, breathe. Rock and roll on your spine. Mm. Good. Come on up. Bo is very good. He's sitting over here, but he didn't come to say hi yet today. So we'll see him another day. Anyway, that's my dog. So just bring your palms together and your thumbs to the center of your chest. Take a moment to keep that breath funneling down deep inside you. Nabi means navel. We worked one of the navel sets in Kundalini Yoga. And the reason I had notes in front of me, I haven't taught it in a while. I wanted to refer to this one, which helped one of the case studies in my story where she said she kind of lost her sense of self she needed to get her power back so if you feel like you've lost your sense of self and you need to get your power back don't give it to the wrong people stay around healthy environments and people keep your power for positive purposes we'll end with a long sat and a short nom inhale so
Nam. Have a great day. Trust yourself. That's also third chakra. And others will trust you too. Sat Nam.